Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys five techniques that pros use that you probably don't in Fortnite. So make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And YouTube is telling me that 95% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you are in that 95%, please hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Alright, so the first tip is to look north when replacing a cone or a floor. And this might be patched by the time you're watching this video, but basically what you want to do is you just want to look north in between 345 and 15 on the compass thing at the top of your screen. And if you do this, you'll be able to take the cone and the floor 100% of the time, even if your opponent has really uh, good ping and you don't have good ping. So definitely exploit this while you can because they're probably going to patch it pretty soon. But as I'm recording this video, it is not patched. And then the second tip is to efficient tunnel. And this pretty much means that you're using half the mats to tunnel. A normal tunnel is 40 mats per box space. So basically if you use, if you go 10 box spaces, which is not even a full moving zone, you'll be using 400 mats and you don't want to do that because you'll run out of mats super fast. What Bugga has started doing and a lot of other pros recently has is to uh, uh, basically efficient tunnel. And it's where you use two builds instead of four to tunnel. And what you want to do, it's pretty simple to do, but you just place a floor and then a ramp on top of it to cover your back. And just look to the left and then right and then left and then right. And you should be able to get this. But basically it uses half the materials as regular tarping or tunneling. And it's just really good. And then the third one is going to be to shoot your gun to replace a wall if you have bad ping. So basically, instead of trying to replace a wall with your pickaxe on bad ping, if you replace it with a gun, then you'll have... you'll basically replace walls like really fast and really easier because with the pickaxe if you have bad ping the wall won't register your pickaxe hit because of the ping delay but if you shoot the wall shooting isn't uh, uh bullets aren't affected by ping so basically the wall will take damage instantly if you shoot it versus with a pickaxe it'll be a delay because you have bad ping so if you shoot a wall you'll be able to replace it way easier and this is what nano light does and he plays on 50 ping but he's a beast at fortnite and then the fourth one is the nick a30 cone peak and this is really good because if you're semi high ground in end game but you want to have a protected cone peak where you can't just get beamed from another angle. It's really good because you can uh, transition it and rotate it. So you can focus different people. So say you want to hold some guy, you can do that. Or if you want to look to the right and hold some guy, you can also do that. So it's really good because you can just move it around. And while all that same time, you cannot get shot at all. So yeah. And then the fifth one is having double movement binds for keyboard and mouse. This does not apply to controller players and mobile players because they already have 360 degree movement. But for keyboard and mouse players, this is a huge advantage because before they only had 16 ways to move. Now they have like way more. And basically you can look up a YouTube video to see what a good bind is for double movement binds. But you definitely want to try out double movement binds and get used to them. Because it is way better movement and you also have better movement overall in Fortnite. So overall guys, those were 5 techniques that pros use that you're probably not using in Fortnite. Uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.